All right, welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick, as always, you guys can call me Tetra Ninja, and this is going to be some gameplay, my gameplay, of Immortals Phoenix Rising, originally called Gods and Monsters, that was revealed at E3 last year, and I recorded this actually at home, playing on a Ubisoft server from Montreal, crazy technology, but anyways, I will get back to you after this quick intro from our narrators. fighting with all her might, had nearly reached Olympus on her quest to defeat Typhon, the dreaded god destroyer. But first, she would have to plunge into the Forge Lands. Once home to Hephaestus, god of fire, hammer, anvil, and forge, these were now godless lands. Scorched, laid to waste. What was not dead, was dying. Chaos reigned. For here, monsters roamed free. Can you, can you not tell this story like I... It wasn't just there. Zeus. I was literally just there two weeks ago. And even if I wasn't, though I was, I'd be listening to your story for days. It's called dramatic effect. It's called, where's my skip button? Uh, yeah. Fine. Q title. Ubisoft Quebec presents the video game formerly known as Gods and Monsters. Even they kind of realized how stupid to change the game's name mid production, but that's okay. You forgive them. It is actually pronounced Ubisoft. Ah, uh, the French. Get a little bit of far sight here. So this was game was revealed at E3 last year, and honestly, when I first saw it, I was not excited. Looks like a rift in the ground. Time to jump in and see what's inside. This mortal has no sense of safety. Jumps right into holes like a rabbit or a tomb. Zeus, no lawsuits here, please. The writing in this game is actually pretty good. So, anyways, when they showcased this game at E3 last year, I was not excited at all because it looked like they just kind of. <sighs> reused a bunch of assets from Assassin's Creed Odyssey and basically made a budget version of it. That's basically what I thought when I originally saw it. But honestly, after playing this game for like two and a half hours-ish, I'm really excited. It has a lot to offer after this narration right here. I'll get to it. Where? Tartarus? She can just jump into the underworld now? These portals must have opened when Typhon escaped. So, you can just wave away whatever you want with narration. Zeus, a perfect father and husband, approves. This might be a fantasy game, but even we have limits. So, yes, 100% they reused a bunch of the assets from Assassin's Creed Odyssey and recent Assassin's Creed games. The combat system is very active and is basically cut and paste. It's exactly how it is in the Assassin's Creed games. But as you can tell by this mini pseudo dungeon right here, and the fact that you can magnetically pull things, it has that Breath of the Wild feel about it, which if you can combine the combat system from Assassin's Creed Odyssey and the puzzle system from Breath of the Wild, I don't care if you copy other video game publishers because those are two of some of the best games that came out this generation. It led to something that I really enjoyed uh, during my time with it. So I'm recording this prior to the Ubisoft Forward presser that's coming later today. Uh, but I think this game, the release date leak that's going to be coming out uh, in early December of this year, this holiday season, on current and next generation consoles. And I'm really excited. Honestly, like, it was, it jumped to the top of my most uh, top anticipated uh, this year, just because it was just so fun to play. Um, it was just fun to play, solving puzzles. The combat set, uh, the combat system is excellent. There's a love, there's a progression system via gear, as well as the skill tree. Unfortunately, I can't show you the skill tree, uh, mainly because it is locked off as you watch me completely fail throwing boxes trying to get to the other side here 
And there was actually a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, so during, I actually did this dungeon already one time, uh, but during my play session, the game actually, well, the Ubisoft servers actually crashed. So I lost the, uh, I lost my recording, my original recording, as well as my live commentary. Uh, so I'm gonna put like a blurb, uh, like a title when the live commentary actually starts. But I think I I'll just take this first opportunity to kind of like talk about the game and talk about what I thought. So yeah, so we're playing, we're jumping right into like the midpoint of the game. We're in uh, the Forge Lands. Well, we have a lot of abilities unlocked to us already, such as the bow, the Icarus wings, and the we have the Assassin's Creed bird, as you can tell, as our ally. We have a lot of powers. Uh, there's light, heavy attacks, light attacks with the sword, heavy attacks with the hammer, which are actually very clutch. And you can actually control real time uh, how your arrow flies. So in order to actually hit uh, this last target over here, I take control of the arrow if I figure out the controls here. And we actually can guide the arrow around obstacles like so. The arrow is tied to your stamina gauge, as everything is. <laughs> Keep that steady on, little one, and you will just survive. Once again, it brings back the Breath of the Wild stamina gauge, so controlling arrows, uh, gliding through the air, sprinting with your horse, climbing. You can climb basically any surface in this game. It all requires uh, stamina gauge, and as you can probably tell, the R is leveled up already. So what we're doing, at the end of these dungeons, there is a Zeus's lightning, and what, you, what happens is, once you progress further into the game, you can use that lightning to upgrade uh, special abilities. Um, so there's double jump with Icarus wings, stamina, there actually is a cooking system as well. You'll find various mushrooms throughout the entire game that you need to take to a cauldron to replenish your magic as well as your potions and your special potions that increase your defense or increase your attack power. And yeah, once again, I don't think they're hiding it. It's very Breath of the Wildish, but like I said, I thoroughly enjoyed my time with this game. And I am going to shut up now, and you guys can enjoy uh, the rest of this gameplay. And then right after this is gonna be my live commentary, and you guys can see what my thoughts were real time. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, and I will catch back with you guys post-commentary, maybe a little bit later, right? Have a good day! Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. So what's Phoenix doing here again? Relighting Hephaestus' ancient forge. There are furnaces near the entrance, or air vents to the north. Phoenix's pick. Seems simple enough. Easy for you to say.
All right, so up and away. So I just realized that we're not actually flying. We're just falling with style right now. It's more of a glide. So if we want to make it all, whoa, what is this thing though? The Iron Giant. Climbing with the stamina bar. I don't know if you've ever seen that before. <laughs> Just, let's not make that aw this awkward. Anyways, continuing on. So we're gonna go to the next forge. You marked it on our map. Looks like we're about to run out of energy as well for this flight. Yeah, that's not good. Well, well, at least we don't die. Ooh. Straight summon a metal horse out of nowhere. Collect some shrooms. Even the horse has a stamina bar. Oh, it was up there. Okay, let's get to the top of the bridge. And let's just cross like a pleb on foot. That probably will be the fastest way. On the way to the next hit in our next puzzle. Unlike the mortal flesh, which had been frozen into marble, the pomegranate sprung forth defiantly, bursting with life. A lot of poetry for something that just got a stick in their mouth. What we got here? Oh! Jesus, dude! Come on. Sneak up on you like that. Oh, he actually hit me. Hammer time! Ah, oh, that guy just came in. Get him! The big guy. Aerial enemies, with aerial attack. There also is a mag. Yeah, for yeah. I can pull them towards me. The best poetry is power. Never before had a mortal laid their eyes upon something so grand, so gargantuan. So spectacularly crafted, so over it. Just get a room already. Well, I would if I could. Hephaestus's forge is that incredible. None of those furnaces are burning. There must be something around here I could use to light them. Got it. I got it. The old fire arrow technique. Oh, maybe. Do some coals first. Yeah. Wish there was a kind of like a better way to aim these things. I'm kind of just throwing them with a reckless abandonment and hoping that they're gonna get in there. Oh wait, never mind. There is. You hold. Oh, dur. <laughs> wow. <sighs> I'm dumb. Or is it supposed to be up here? I don't even know. We'll see. Two coals is good, right? Two coals? Yeah. Ignore. 
night, baby. Yeah. All right, all right. It's not all that. This guy. I got you, man. Lost the foot, though. That guy is definitely alive. Let's dance. Man. Wonder what the weak against. Oh, they're hitting each other. I'm out of stamina now, though. That's a problem. Oh, I can... Oh, I have items to increase my... Yeah. Alright, one down. What does the purple and the yellow one do, though? Let's try one out. But, oh, we got him based. I'm gonna try this bird attack again. I used it once already, but I didn't really get to appreciate it. Let's see. Eat him! So the enemies have a stamina gauge by the looks of it as well. Gonna have to like wager exactly. Venus Dash! Oh, thanks. Oh, I just want to really walk right back into that. <laughs> Shiny things! I like it. There's another station, so we'll go there. Can I get a preempted strike on this fool? Yes. Wow. It was actually, do you know what? Surprisingly <laughs> a decent amount of damage. I would think, I, I would have thought they would just like fall off them. Bounce off like spitballs. They actually put in work. Nope. Done. We're gonna aggro, aggro, aggro. Oh, I didn't keep all as I wanted there. That's good. Man, that hammer, dude. That hammer does so much damage. I'm very impressed with the controls. For the amount of stuff and powers that you're doing, jumping all over the place, aerial combat, the controls are actually very responsive. Stupid bird. Here. Go work. I wonder if like each of the abilities has like a different attribute, so summon the bird there. It probably has a name that I don't know right now. But the attacks seem to drop the blue orbs. I wonder if that's like a secondary ability. Guys with shields! Shield this. Wow. I'm 
Ninja'd. Gotta find me some coal rocks. Here we go. Okay, I'm not as sad that I didn't realize you could aim this thing because there's no aim tutorial or menu there. That's my excuse, okay? That's what we're gonna go with. That's what we're gonna go with. Here you go. Get light this. We'll burn this mother to the ground. Two. I see the next one. Oh, there is stealth! Hey, there is stealth! Is it really a sneak attack, though, if you yell sneak attack right before you do it? Real life questions. Okay, I don't know how that was. Stop. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's awkward. All of a sudden, start climbing out of nowhere in the middle of combat. Ching, 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 ching. What does that do? What the? My hand! <laughs> Brute force, not always the solution. There was a piece of coal at the base of these stairs. Oh, that switch lowered the force. Oh, I see. Hey, it's nighttime now. So there's the day night cycle. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of games with day night cycles because I honestly just prefer playing always during the day. But with, I guess, with Assassin's Creed, it allows you to. Because it's just easier to see things in general. But I'm assuming there's probably going to be like an advancement of the time cycle. Just because the last two Assassin's Creeds had it. Speculation. Not sure. No, my cool! Close on me. Three late, one more to go. What the heck? Ghost. It's Mordor. Um, I'm assuming that the last. Forge is on the other side of this, to the right, so let's go there. We probably don't have to leave this area. Need two pieces of coal. One to weigh down the switch. Controls. I'm trying to do things, but I'm not actually hitting them correctly. 
It's not the game. It's that, that that's me. That's me. Don't worry about it. What are these Spartans? I wish I could see. Get it. Oh, that's where I started. I missed the chest. Big money. I see one. I see one. Ugh. Climb. Come with me, little one. I got my coal. I don't... I don't think I can throw that far, can I? We'll see. Ah, uh, yeah. Got it. Last one coming up. Wow. Okay, I get the <laughs> I was gonna say so much you. fail. Can we skip forward? Fine, fine. There's a good part coming up. To the forge! Fire sword! What? Gimme. Dang, dude. Oh. So there are different weapons by the looks of it. Different mounts, quest items. Can you change? Very cool. Everything is climbable. I like it. I like it. All right, through those gigantic doors. Better be on my guard. 